Hey everybody, this is GliderCat and it's time to play. We're back in Colony Survival. Last episode, what did we do? We strengthened our defenses a bit. We added some more drop traps. We added some more projectile traps, although these haven't been used in quite a while, I don't think. Uh, but we are starting to recruit more colonists. So it could be that the threat rating is going to keep climbing. We're at 910.8 right now for our threat rating. This episode, we're not going to just watch zombies here because they're going to not make it very far, I don't believe. But this episode, we have work to do. Let's get to it. I want to do some things off the tech tree. Let's take a look. Um, Actually, even before we do tech tree, I kind of want to build this guy right here, the sacred fail safe. I think I have one. I don't know much about it. It says, uh, unlocks the sacred failsafe, an emergency tool that uses sacred points to eliminate monsters. This is kind of like a last resort. And I'm thinking we can put it up here. I don't want to put it right down where the banner is because then we might be swarming with zombies uh, right when we need to use it. But maybe on one of these platforms. Let's do it. Uh, where might that be? Do I have one? I think I do, actually. I thought I saw it in here. Nope. Where might you be? Here it is. Sacred failsafe. Emergency defense mechanism using sacred points. Adds a 500 sacred point capacity non-stacking. Causes 10 threat. 10 threat's nothing. We'll take it. Let's plunk this guy down. Does it have... Uh, doesn't look like it has a orientation. It looks kind of cool. That looks kind of sweet. I might build these just for the, <laughs> just for the aesthetic. Yeah, it looks kind of nice. All right. So there's our sacred... Our sacred failsafe. What do we do with it? What do we do with it? If I right click on it. Okay. Sacred failsafe is available. Current sacred point storage is zero out of 500. Triggering the sacred failsafe will cause zero damage because there's nothing, no points. Failsafe will reduce the total hit points of incoming monsters by blah. The current threat level is 920.8 and will spawn monsters with a Hit point total of 407,000 hit points right now. That's what our current um, zombie horde every night has. Total hit points, 407,000. Interesting. Okay, how do we increase the sacred points? Let's see what we have here. Uh, Lockboxes. Statistics board. We haven't done this yet. Uh, why don't we do that? Where's a good place? Maybe, maybe just over here. Let's get that place too. I haven't even looked at this. Boom. See what this has to offer us. Showing a lot of our what? Statistics, what we're producing. Oh man. Yeah, that's more data than I'm interested in. But we have it. Four days, one day, hide all, show all. Log. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not huge into statistics in games. I know some people really love that stuff. Not that interested in myself. Okay, Merchants Hub we have. I'm looking for a way to increase. There it is. Sacred Altar. Orders a colonist to work here as a sanctifier. Hmm. Let's do that on another tier. So, or another um, another side. I don't think we'll, we'll have to babysit this. Let's put some of these down just for the heck of it. You. Oink. We may put these underground at some point. Okay. Sacred. Okay. Sacred wheat porridge. Needs wheat porridge and a candle. They receive one sacred point when colonists eat this meal. Okay, interesting. We'll take it. We'll take it. Um, we'll do this just kind of temporary. I actually do have one worker making candles. So we have 930. I have one little bee farm up top. <laughs> we'll, we'll see it at some point, I suppose. Let's recruit for these. And we'll let them just walk to these crates right now. We're not worried about efficiency, but maybe we'll set up a room full of these things. 
Like I said, I'm hoping we don't have to use the sacred failsafe. But we have it. What was the other thing? I thought there was something else I wanted to craft that we haven't done yet. Let's just take a quick look. We've done all this. Furnace. Job block. Yep. Scribe's desk. Trap fixer. We don't have many tanners going. Or many tailors, actually. Stove. Stonemason. Ah, I want to get more stonemason down. Let's go down. You might remember last episode or and or the episode before, I mentioned that once we extend our safe zone to the max, I want to have a wall just inside the safe zone, and we'll put more guards on it, but have it circle the castle here. And I'm thinking of doing that wall not in these clay bricks, but in stone bricks. But in order to get those ready, I need more stonemasons. And I don't have hardly any of them right now. What we could do, we could start building out on this floor. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't think there's much going on down here. Let's see if there's any room up here for it first. This is kind of our one of our crafting floors. This is pretty much filled up. But I want to put down some more stonemasons. Uh, this is partially used have room there. Kind of want to try to keep it one profession per room. I know I've strayed from that a tiny bit. Oh, looks like there's something straight away here. This is free. This room is free for us to use. We do need to kick this out a bit. So let's do it. Let's do a little bit of work. We're going to set up another room and we're going to put some stone masons in there. But this can be built out a bit more. Take advantage of the space a little bit better. It's going to allow us to add like maybe one more bed, I think. Up our torch up there, and then this can kick out. Remember, we are digging to expand these walls, push out to the safe zone. So this room, we'll be able to complete it later. Let's do a little more polish. And we'll put down a few stone masons to start building um the cobblestone. Because I'm thinking of doing the exterior wall that circles the castle in cobblestone, but I don't have much of it. So I have 9,000, but it's gonna be a huge, huge wall. So let's get six, maybe six more stone masons doing that work for us. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I don't want to go too crazy with it. Um, yeah, right now they're set to a limit of 10,000. Let's make this kind of like infinite. It just takes rubble. And if you look at our rubble supply, we're not hurting. We've got almost, or we have almost 300,000 rubble. Put down some crates. Boom, 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 recruit. And then I'm going to do one more thing. We have at least one stone mason, I think, in the hallway here. These all have to be put into rooms, all these guys here. It's just more work on my plate that I haven't gotten to. Yeah, we have two here. We're going to take these up. See ya, fellas. And we'll put those in that room, too. Okay, looks like the end of the shift. We're coming up on nighttime. Yeah. Let's put those down here. You and you, and they can use those. Whoops. Got to rotate you. They can use those same crates. It's fine. All right. Do we want to check in on our diggers here while we're down here? See if they're still alive in there. <laughs> Been experimenting with this. We have our little kind of airlock. We talked about this last episode. I won't go into it right now, but this helps prevent floods. It's overkill. Oh, I don't need to worry about it. Okay, yeah, that guy is... I'm not concerned about him. He was doing well before. He stuck around always. Hasn't disappeared. This one across the way, though, I had put a worker in here 
came back a couple days later and he was gone. And I think he just died off somehow, but let's check this one real quick. If he's still alive, then we're in good shape. Yep, yep, yep. He's sleeping, doing his thing. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So that terraforming is still underway. Gonna make more room down the road. May need it, may not. All right, what's next? What's next? Tech tree. Let's see if we can actually advance now on the tech tree. All right, we have brass. Not suited for weapons or tools, but it's malleable and it makes perfect for small detailed parts. It requires zinc, which can be purchased or mined below mammoth trees. We need to think about outposts. Let's actually do outposts first. What do we need? More colony points. Let's do it. We have so much work here on the main colony to do, but I'm thinking about trying to get an outpost going or two. We need to raise some cash. Let's do it. Or points. Okay. Let's unlock outpost. Doesn't it increase our threat rating at all. We're gonna it's gonna unlock the compass and hemp. Eventually, let's do that. I'll post. Now, I think I've had several comments saying that, hey, because your threat rating is so high, your outposts are going to be very challenged to survive without strong defenses. I thought there was a way that we could do a threat banner. I wonder where that's at. That would kind of redirect the threat wherever you want it. In our case, we want the threat at our main. There it is right there. Threat banner which will attract monsters from other outposts to the one it's placed in. We want all the monsters coming here, as many as we can. So we'll see if we can get to this guy. What does it need? Jeweler. Oh man, creates delicate things. Hmm. Well, what do you need? You need brass and rope. So let's do brass. Requires zinc, we'll trade for zinc. It's right here, 100 points, oh man. 100 points for zinc. Don't like it. Boom. We have 25. Let's buy it up. Buy a bunch. Go big. Okay, science tree. Brass. Let's unlock it. Boom. Rope. We know we need tons of tablets of ancient wisdom. We're in great shape there. We're going to spend a thousand more colony points. So it's costing us some cash. What else? The alarm bell? I don't really care. Uh, we're not going to use this, but I'll get it off the tech tree. Don't think we're going to use it. Um, sacred point storage. Uh, I need bronze ingots. I need gold ingots. I think we might be processing all the bronze and gold that we buy right now. That could be a problem. Let's buy some more. Let's sell, 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 sell. Let's buy up some gold. And let's buy some tin. And maybe we'll actually, um, we'll actually have some ingots left over. I'm not sure if this is all getting consumed super fast. I'd have to look at what we're crafting with it. I wanted to buy, I think, one more stack of this. All right, back to the tech tree. Yeah, we're not getting, I think the gold ingots must be being spent right away. We'll see if we can accumulate some of those. Bricks, don't really care. Kind of wish all the building materials were unlocked very early. Because once we're this far in, we're kind of committed to what we have. Bread we could do. Unlocks bread. Use grindstones to make flour. It'll be an extra meal. Take it. Chicken meals. This will get us uh, chicken farmers, barley farmers, cabbage farmers. Why not? Jeweler. We want this one. I need to raise some colony points. Let's do it. I don't have many more to sell here. I've mostly been selling the earthenware and then sometimes I'll sell these scrolls too. They seem to regenerate decent in our colony the way we have it set up. 
Okay, let's do the jeweler. That's going to allow us to get the threat banner, I think. And the threat banner, golden shield. Oh, man. We're going to have to make those. I think we're going to need these threat banners before we set up colony. Um, outposts. I really do. I just have a hunch. Not positive. Paper production. We need hemp to grow. Astrolabe. Navigation tool that helps find biomes. We can do this. Gold ingots. Yeah, we are recru we're accruing gold ingots now. Let's unlock this stuff while we can. Um, I thought we saw something else that required gold ingots. Bricks. Do I want to spend three bronze ingots just to get this thing off? Probably. We need to do it to get to the Iron Age, right? Let's do it. Sacred point storage. Let's do it. We got to wait till we produce hemp fiber and hemp. We'll get to that. Iron Age. We need to produce bricks, actually. This would be nice. It unlocks a whole mess of things. Better tools, which means better production from everybody. Wrought iron. This is some kind of uh, building material. Bloomery. Oh, yeah, I remember these quite a long time ago. Yeah, I guess we're going to need to make a lot of bricks. Kiln. Yeah, that looks familiar from last season. Yeah, this is kind of would be nice. It's going to increase our threat by 100. We're already at 923. Um, we'll probably need to think about adding guards, too. Oh, man. I really want this threat banner. Golden shield. Man, I bet that's uh, a pain to... <laughs> I bet that's hard to craft. We'll see. Compass requires the astrolabe, so I guess i got to build one of those. That might be nice to have, actually. Where's the astrolabe thing? Let's go up. Let's go up, 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 and get to one of these tiers. Yeah, these guys are making meals. We're going to move these down underground for sure. About over here. Uh, let's go where we're doing the fail safe. And put the astrolabe down over here somewhere. Yeah, there's our fail safe. Maybe over here. Let's see what it looks like. If it's built already, if we have one. Um, where might you be? I don't see it. Uh, I wonder if we have to set a quota for that to be built. We're in the middle of the workday here, so... Oh, there it is. Right on cue. Can I build it? What do I do with it? Is it just a material? It doesn't look like I can place it, right? Maybe it's just for the tech tree? I don't know. Okay. Just unlock the steam achievement here. I just was looking at that for a second. All right. Let's go this guy. Navigation tool helps find biomes. Hmm. Complete. And then I think, okay. So now we're seeing where the marshes are, where the mammoth trees are, how close that stuff is. That's going to be handy for our outposts. There's a mountain. We've already chewed through, <laughs> chewed through that one. Um, but before we do those outposts, man, I feel like we're going to need threat banners. Could be wrong, but I tend to play things safe, if you haven't noticed, by our massive defenses here. Threat banner. Golden Shield, Iron Age, we need brick production. Mm. Let's come back to some of that. Uh, what can we do? It's still a little bit of daylight left. Hmm. Not sure what I want to work on yet. There, we have a bunch of people terraforming over there. That work is underway. Those guys are busy. I'd like to have more of that going on. And we talked about looking at the castle wall, didn't we, last episode? Hmm. Let's take a look. Um, where are we? Not this wall. Okay, over here, we have kind of the new structure. Right? So we walk out. And then I was talking about to make things look a little nicer. 
is thinking about kicking these mirror lawns out either one level or two levels, right? And they both look decent from down below. Look a little better, I think, than the way we have it. And the only concern was by pushing it out real far, are we going to obstruct the shot from these guys up here in those little arrow slits? Let's go up there and just scope that out and see if that's an issue or not. Are those Merlons on the floor below going to get in the way of guards up here taking shots? It does a bit, right? So they are a little obstructed. Now these guards sitting up here, they're going to be shooting pretty far. I think we're going to have the, you know, the, the guys with guns up here or something with super long range. And then maybe it'll be crossbow people there. And then the next level down, it'll be just regular bowmen. It looks like we, we could do either one. Could do either one. Three or two, two more out. And then that's the original way there. Um, shoot, it's nighttime again. I kind of want to go down there and look. Yes. Hmm. Like I said, these guys will have a shot straight down. We're going to have traps along here, maybe the whole way. Because underneath this block I'm pointing at goes right down to the ground. And it's, um, right next to the external wall. And that's where a lot of the zombies tend to walk to get into the entrance gates. So that's a, this is a great row for traps, drop traps. Um, which is part of the reason why I wanted to up the quota on that ammunition and get those, um, engineers down. So I guess we'll do it off of look. I think we should go out the full three blocks out and then a row of Merlons all the way around the castle. I think that's going to give it a little more dimension. And yeah, these arrow slits are going to be a little more obstructed for sure. But I think if they have the guns, they'll still be able to shoot pretty far and take on the good, the uh, more difficult enemies. And then I don't know if the next floor up, if we have guards that can even do it, maybe they can reach, reach that far down. Maybe they can. Yeah, I bet they can shoot from up here. Let's see, I can shoot from up here, can I? I'm not going to hit anything because my aim is horrible, but... Yeah, check it out. So we can have guards all the way up to here. Got these easy enemies. Uh, their aim is much better than mine. The guards, that is. Yeah, and the terraforming should prevent us from having this conga line of zombies coming through. We can do more of that terraforming. So yeah, I think we'll go, I think we're going to go with three, pushing out three. Uh, that's, where's that? Is that, that's down here actually, isn't it? So that's way out here. So we need to get, um, builders probably helping us out with that. Uh, we could do that right now, actually. Let's do some of this. We want builder area. Boom. Construction builder. Mud bricks. Boom. Not crazy about having a castle built out of mud. But that's all I had unlocked when we uh, started building it. But again, yeah, I kind of wish they, would, they had the... Um, the different building blocks unlocked quite a bit sooner in the game. I might have gone with the cobblestone here. Okay, that's our building designation to get us started. And let's see if I can place the work blocks somewhere near um, grocery stations and that. Do we have grocery stations anywhere nearby? We don't. Um, I can place some. Let's do it. Let's get, uh, how about just one worker might be enough over here. Have three unemployed. And then they can come in here and get their, their stuff, their groceries and that. Let's do it. Grocery. And you. 
I just took an astrolabe out of my inventory. I want to see if the, um, those destinations still show up in the outside. Let's take a look. Do I have to have it on me? Looks like it, right? So if I have this thing in my inventory on the hot bar, boom. No? Oh, I see. Yeah, we have to we have to have it activated, and then we can see everything. Not bad. So yeah, for this construction, <laughs> we have one little job here. But man, I gotta do all the floors all the way around. Looks like this one I started doing already. But um yeah, I'll add some job blocks for that. Kind of want to start chewing through this and push this side out further. Is it daytime? It is. Let's go down. And I'll have to do the Merlons myself. I don't can't do that with a worker, I don't believe. I can't think of a way to do it with a worker. I guess I could have them lay the bricks and then I got to come back and chew them all out, but this all has to be pushed out. These trees have to be taken out. Oh man, so much work. But let's do... Let's get another work area set up to chew away at this mountain. Like I said, I want to push these back. This one's actually bigger. Let's go after this. Let's get some leaves or something put on the hot bar. Get a little bit of daylight here to work with. Let's see if we can get something done. Um, if we push out to the safe zone, or I gotta, I can, farthest I can go out is one away from here. Because I don't want them to be able to get into my base. Maybe something like... Something like this. Okay, no one's getting in. Not even little ones, little zombies. There are no little zombies. Just joking. This is where our workers are going to probably stand up on this platform. And then where's the safe zone? I can't go too far. Yeah, right here. Um, I can go right up to it, though. And then we'll have maybe another. Maybe we'll set up two building designations if we can. There's enough time before uh, nighttime falls here. This is all within the safe zone. And thinking two builder designations over here. Eventually we'll chew out all this dark stone and replace it with dirt. We'll keep the ore in place. And I just want to bring this over enough that we can hook up to the castle. Looks like we're good. This is just going to protect our workers for now. Temporary, very temporary. Need more. Boom. That was a little enthusiastic. Uh, what do we want to do here, right? You may only be able to get one of these down. If I have to put a block down, that's going to be the starting point of where we terraform. It can be right here, actually. That's even more efficient. Oh, man. Let's see if we can do this. Digger. Start there. We'll see how far we can go. And how high we can go. We're going to want to climb this hill. We're actually going to get some gold out of this uh, because I think there's some in this hill. And then when we finally set up our outposts, we'll try and do it somewhere. Maybe we might not be able to do it here in this place because it's so close to us. We upgraded our digger area size. Is it 160,000? Oh, man, it is. So look how much of this we can take out. Oh, I like it. Okay, now we're maxed out. Uh, let's see. We have to go down a little bit or we have to go over. I think I'd rather go this way. Down. 
Still too large. We're getting there. That's pretty good. That's too much. It gets us one higher. Uh, we're plenty high on that side. Just trying to pick a good range here. 133, 120. Yeah, how about right there? Too large. Um, oh, come on. What? I thought we were just able to do some of these. Maybe that took a while for the game to calculate. Is it going to let me do this? Boom. Okay. These guys will be kept pretty busy working on this, chewing this, that mountain down. We might be able to get another designation down. What time is it? 1400. Not sure. It takes a while to get these set up. Okay, we'll hop up here, take out that block, boom. There we know zombies can get up on us. And then here, we want one right here, I think. We'll see if we can do another designation. Uh, that one overlaps, so we, we're not going to be able to do that. I think it's going to complain. We can do it here, and then we might have a sliver of mountain we're going to have to take out later. Do I have time to do this? Barely. Construction. Bigger. Uh, this is a little risky time-wise. Because if I don't get this... <laughs> I don't have a way up. Uh, that might have been a better way. We're going this way. Already kind of committed. 1600. We have a little bit of time. Come on. I'm running as fast as I can. Boom, boom, up. We have to go way off to the left. Like super duper far off to the left, I think. We could chew this back if we wanted to. We don't have to go left. I think I'm going to try to get up high like this. Yeah, there's still not enough designation to pull it off, huh? Where can we go? How far? That's not bad. About, well, we do that one. Now we got to get back down. This is a little easier. We can just kind of chew our way down, I think. Hopefully I won't take a bunch of damage. I should use colony points to increase my health. Hopefully there's not a gap under here. Okay, we need to take down that first block. That's where zombies can get up. Once we have that taken up, then we can put beds and get our workers placed at our leisure because we'll be in the safe zone. But we got to take this little block up. Boom. And I think we took the other one up. So we're safe. Now we have two huge work areas. And we just need to get workers placed. So let's do it. About... I have four unemployed. Rev rating's at 923. Let's do five each. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to put crates in between. Boom, 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 boom. And then I'm just going to use crates for them to walk up to their work spot. That's that side. And then let's do five here, right? We have two different two different job sites so we can put a crate here and get some more workers one hello buddy two three four five kind of snuck through there huh okay not bad boom boom we'll get a recruit for these jobs and then i'm just going to use crates for them to be able to Quickly walk up to their spot. Now we need, what, 10 beds, probably, and the grocery and all that stuff. Do it. Let's do it. Don't need that on my hotbar right now, the astrolabe thing. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, that's too close. 
one, two, three, four, five. And then we could put, we can put, we can go big here. Tool shop, tool shop. And grocery. Grocery, let's recruit for those. Six, recruit to fill all jobs. We can recruit 84 more colonists without, uh, until we next need to um, upgrade the colony limit. Just get back up. This is all, should be all safe and set, ready to go. I don't think I'm missing anything. Am I missing something obvious? They have their supplies, they have their rest, they have their crates. I think that's good. Again, tearing this all down is going to help this, the enemy spawn in more randomly and be able to approach the castle a little more randomly. And that's going to help these guards on the outskirts, once we get them placed, have um, targets to shoot at. All right, how much time we got? 36 minutes in, seems like, something like that. What could we do? What could we do? We have new farms to experiment with. Let's look at what we've unlocked. Um, if we go here, hopefully I'm safe near the banner. <laughs> berry farmer, we have plenty of those. Wheat farmers, we, although we may add more berry farmers. Food, we'll keep an eye on. It's 30, almost 33,000. Ammunition's looking great. We're in good shape there. Um, but we have new farmers. Hemp farmer, barley, cabbage, and chicken. And then beekeepers. Beekeepers, how are we doing on candles? Are those being used? Sacred wheat porridge. We have candles. I'll show you where the beekeepers are. Let's go look. We just have one and it's kind of um, just like a filler. I had some room inside. The only thing that seemed to fit was a beekeeper. Show you where I did it. We can maybe add some more. I think it might have been. Might have where is it? Is it up here? This is meant to be our tree floor. Our tree floor and our bee floor. Here's our little beehive. In fact, I didn't know if I was going to keep it. So I didn't frame it out. Do it. Let's frame this out. And I didn't even... Oh, I did put a crate. I'll put another crate over here just for looksies. In fact, I can put one on the side too. Keep with our kind of current style of putting them in the middle on each side. But yeah, this is the only beehive I have. But this whole row, and I did a thin row of trees here. They can plant three. Looks or two, is that it? I think he, oh, he needs crates as well. Let's do that. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, he can do three trees. We'll do more trees here. More trees and more bees. In fact, let's get one more beehive going. Uh, leave room for the crates. So you, 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 and you, and then dirt. But we have other, um, I do it every time, almost every time. I don't pick the item. Okay, beehive here. But yeah, we have other crops to do. Where are you, beekeeper? You... For you, that is an acceptable size. And this guy seems fairly productive. We have 460. Oh, look at those things go down. Last thing we want to check. And again, we can add more of these. The last thing I want to check, since he's making the sacred meals, let's go down and see if we've accumulated those sacred points. For the uh, fail safe. That, this floor, no, we got to go down a few more floors. Where might that be? 
Let's work our way around, see if we can find it. Not here. It's all well lit. I kind of like how this floor turned out. Pretty effective. Um, a lot of empty beds, but remember, we're probably going to try and put guards here. As long as the colony population can support it, I'm going to put more guards. Let's see what this guy says. Okay, sacred point storage is 500 out of 500. Triggering the failsafe will cause 16,000 damage. And it will reduce the hit points of incoming monsters by a booming 1%. So let's see. So we're maxed out on that. Those things don't stack if we build more sacred failsafes. But there was the storage thing we unlocked. It's this guy, right? Sacred storage adds a thousand sacred point capacity, but it does cause one threat. What do these look like? Did we put these between the beds or something? I have a feeling it's not going to... Oh, why does it have a direction? It's kind of, it's actually kind of cute. <laughs> it's actually kind of cute. Oh man. <laughs> Look at that thing. It looks kind of neat. I like it. Uh, I like it. Let's see what happens. Okay. Nothing, right? I don't think we interact with that. Now let's see what it says. Okay. That gave us a thousand extra, but we did pay a little bit of a price, right? We paid one point in threat rating. I think I might want to put those up here. We have tons of room up there for this kind of thing. Ooh, I bet when you take them down, you lose all those points. If you accrued any, take a look. 505 out of 3,500. Yeah, we may have lost some just by ripping one up. Not a big deal. It's just when they're calling us eat those bonus meals. I mean... I don't know, maybe these guy, maybe these uh, colonists like to play house or something and they have their own dollhouses. That'll be our story for why we're putting them by the beds. They do look kind of neat. I kind of like them. Kind of like it. Like I said, I don't think we're going to need to use this. But why not accrue a bunch of points just in case? Take a last look at our terraforming and then we'll call it an episode. Looks like, yeah, we need to go higher over there. It does look kind of horrible under construction. But once we clear this out, we'll, any rough edges, we'll, I'll go back and level them off so they look like normal terrain. Um, I just want to get this pushed back first. These guys seem to be making some progress. Chewing away that mountain. Getting us a bunch of rubble, too. Stone rubble. There's a guy going to get some food or get a tool. Goes back to work. It's a little bit of a walk, but not too bad. Those guys are all busy. Let's... Oh, here's the other ones. And then we remember, we have people underground terraforming for us, too. Freeing up more space. And we need to get builders to help us with these castle walls. Kick them out a little further. Lots of work to do. Yes, yeah, so we have five working kind of over there. And we have five working kind of on this big mess. It's going to take a while, but they'll do their thing. We have the colonists. We've flattened out a ton. Like a lot of this space has been flattened out. And this was all some form of stone, the light stone or the dark stone. And I chewed that all out and put in um, dirt. So we'll see. Again, all of this work is just for trying to max out the colony size and max our defenses. And by having this nice and flat, it should make the enemies come in dispersed, allowing these guards to have clear shots at everybody. And then further out, we'll put a wall all the way around with guards too. If, if again, the colony population can support it, we'll do it. But that's it for now. Huge colony, huge fortress, lots more work to do. I'll get some done between episodes and then um, we'll chase down the tech tree and See if we can't get more of these new crops placed and new products uh, manufactured. And then I'm very anxious to get to this iron age. Cause I think that's going to free up some better, um, guards, right? 
Let's see if we can spy where that might be. Iron tools, that's going to be a big, big deal. Bloomery, okay. The kiln, that's for bricks. Yeah, we need to place that soon. We have a lot of work. Advanced job block crafter. Iron bloom. Ooh, charcoal. We're going to have to make charcoal. Oh, man. Where are the next guards? Learn to grow flowers and marshes, allowing you to add color to your world. It's kind of neat. Red planks, green planks, blue planks. These lanterns are kind of cool. We may make use of those. I don't know about these colored planks. <clears throat> Caltrops unlocks a trap that once loaded will slow monsters below it. Interesting. Will slow monsters below it. Yeah, we could do that off the sides. What else? Poison traps. Wisteria plants can only be grown in heaths. Each wisteria harvester needs 10 wisteria plants. I wonder if we can take dirt from the heath, and bring it over here and make those here. If not, we'll set up a outpost in a heath so we can get these, this poison. I'm looking for other guards. Researcher, we'll get to it. Glider, maybe. Science chest. Huh. Local animal carcass. Yeah, we've been I've been buying these. We have a supply, and I have just two tanners. The curse of self-improvement helps makes books by using books so you can make more books. The last blower. Man, where's our next enemies? Glass, grass and dirt production. We don't have a problem with that right now. Horizontal elevator. Elevator. Steel, lead, and mineral oil. Hmm. Again, I'm looking here for guard blocks. I may have missed one that we've already unlocked. We'll take a look here in a second. Gunsmith's workbench. That, here we go. Hand cannon. Short range weapon. Hmm. We want long range. There it is. Hand cannon. We got a ways to go, it looks like. Musket. Does less damage than hand cannon, but the ammo is cheaper. has a longer range. These guys are the ones I was thinking of putting up high. These muskets. But we're a ways away from that. Oh, man. And grenade launchers. Powerful weapon, which can eliminate groups of enemies at distance. This I was thinking of putting on that new defensive wall I was talking about. Once we max the safe zone. So yeah, anyway, cannon trap, nice. So yeah, we may have some much more powerful zombies to come. This guy's actually made it through the third to the third maze. I haven't seen that in a while. That's rare. And again, I think that has to do with our terraforming. That the enemies are kind of clumping up on certain sides. Yeah, I think there's a big conga line here coming. Yeah, we'll leave it here for now. This is GliderCat saying thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoy this series on Colony Survival. This is an awesome game. Underrated. Lots to do. I like the graphics much more than I like the graphics in Minecraft. Someday, maybe I'll get Minecraft on the channel. You know, the gameplay in Minecraft, I would probably really like it. But, man, i got to hang up on the graphics. These graphics look awesome to me. And it's not frying my GPU, so my uh, video card... Yeah, we'll pick it up next episode. I'll do some homework in between, and maybe we can get going on those new crops. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.